Hi, this is Bo Blackwell with ClickBank. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and use uh, affiliate hop links so that you can promote ClickBank products and earn commissions. So before you get started, uh, you're going to need a ClickBank account. So make sure that you've signed up for your account and have your affiliate nickname because we're going to need that for creating hop links. So once uh, you've got that, we're just going to go to the ClickBank Marketplace, which you can get to by clicking Promote Products or uh, the Marketplace link up here. And this is going to be the home page of the Marketplace. So there are a couple of ways that we can jump right in and start looking for products to promote. Uh, you can either browse by categories or you can do a search using the Find Products search box up here. So let's jump in and, and look at categories since that's one of the easiest ways to find products you might be interested in. So we'll scroll down here and let's uh, let's look at health and fitness. So <clears throat> by default these products are sorted by popularity which is essentially an indicator of how well products are selling um, and how how much affiliates are profiting from them. So that's one way, good way to look at things, um, although you can also sort by things like how much affiliates earn on average for each sale that they make of a product, uh, the initial amount of money that affiliates make on the sale of a product, and that's typically for recurring commission products, the average commission percentage per sale, the average amount of rebill sales that occur from a product. So again, if it's a recurring product, that gives you an idea of how much you might earn uh, over time and in the long run. And those can be really profitable products to promote. Uh, the average percent per rebill, which is basically, are you earning a commission percentage on those subsequent rebills of a, a product? And then gravity, which is um, a kind of a unique metric to ClickBank that is an indicator of how many different affiliates are um, actively making sales of that product within the past couple of months. So we'll just leave it sorted by popularity. Um, you can see the product, some of the products here at the top of the marketplace um, for health and fitness. We have these filters that you can use on the left side of the page to, for example, look at products that are actively selling. Um, if you want to earn a certain commission percentage or dollar amount on each sale, you can filter by that. Um, you can look for uh, recurring billing products, new products, all those kind of things, as well as some of these product attributes that we have um, listed here. So once we've identified a product, um, we can go ahead and just click the Promote button next to the, pro the product that we want to have a hop link for. So uh, this will bring up a new window showing the uh, details of creating that hop link. It already has my account nickname inserted in there because um, I was logged into my account. If you're not logged into your account, you can enter your nickname manually and it'll still create a hop link for you. And then for this field, the tracking ID, uh, you can use that if you are going to use that hop link for a certain type of promotional campaign and you want to be able to keep track of what's converting or what's driving the most hops. And you can see that in your ClickBank client analytics. So for example, if I was going to promote this through a newsletter, you could make the tracking ID newsletter. So then we just hit the create button and that will open this window that has a couple of links, which I'll explain in just a second, as well as a mobile QR code that's pre-embedded with your affiliate tracking ID. And there are a number of ways that you could use those, but some examples are you could use them and actually print them out on local flyers. Um, for example, advertising a, a weight loss ClickBank product to people locally. Um, you could use it on business cards or on a website. So uh, there are a number of ways you can use those. Over here on the left are kind of the two most common um, forms of hop links. And essentially they're the same, but it, this is just the way that they're presented. So in this top one, this is the specific link that you're going to want to send people to. So you could take this link and 
um, for example, post it uh, in social media setting or uh, link to it from a banner advertisement that you're creating, um, something like that. So this is going to be the, the actual affiliate tracking URL. Now this code down here below is basically just the same link but with the HTML code already attached to it. So you could take this link, for example, and insert it into a blog post um, if you wanted it to already have some text attached to it and uh, not have to worry about formatting the HTML code yourself. So most people are going to use this top link because it's the easiest to just insert it and you can attach any kind of um, link text or banner image or anything like that that you want to it. But this is one if you don't want to have to do the HTML code. So that's all there is to it. Uh, you just copy this link and uh, insert it wherever you want. Use it for the types of advertising that you want to use it for. And then it will be tracked if anyone clicks on it and you will get your affiliate commission. So really that's all there is to it for creating ClickBank hop links. Thanks for watching.